Rosalind Franklin was born in London, England, 1920. Ever since she was 15 years old, she always wanted to become a scientist. Although sexism was very common at the time, she excelled in science regardless, as she was very intelligent. She entered Cambridge in 1938 and graduated with a PhD in chemistry in 1945. She was offered a job in research at the British Coal Utilisation Research Association, where she published multiple papers on the physical structure of coal. She moved to Paris in 1946, where she met an old friend who introduced her to Marcel Matthew. He was very impressed with her work and offered her a job. This is where she first learnt and mastered X-ray crystallography. In 1951, Rosalind was offered a three-year research scholarship at King's College. There was a scientist named Maurice Wilkins who was at King's College too. He was also using X-ray crystallography to understand DNA. They started off on the wrong foot as he thought Rosalind was his assistant. I know, right? In 1952, Rosalind was finally able to obtain two sets of photos of DNA fibres, one of which being the infamous Photo 51. This is where it all goes downhill. Scientists James Watson and Francis Crick also make attempts at figuring out DNA, but it was always a dead end. Maurice Wilkins stole Photo 51 and showed it to Watson and Crick. They used this to fabricate it into their own making. Watson and Crick announced their findings, making Rosalind Franklin's discovery look like a confirmation of their so-called work. They received many awards, one being the Nobel Prize in 1962, and Rosalind received nothing. She unfortunately died in 1958 due to cancer, still without knowledge of her discovery being stolen. Why is she unsung? Watson and Crick took all the fame and glory without giving Rosalind any credit. But she should be known. She was able to overcome personal and societal hardships to make one of the greatest discoveries in science. The amazing DNA.